What's going on everybody? This is Phil from Millennial Money Games and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we are going to be doing another stock analysis on T Row Price. Ticker symbol is T-R-O-W. So let's take a look at their website here and we're going to go run through exactly what this company is, why we think it's a potential buy right now. But if you guys are interested in this type of content and this for this video, if you're ahead for this video, please make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out the channel. Also, if you enjoy this content and you enjoy dividends, you can follow my journey by hitting that subscribe button. We are trying to reach a $100,000 dividend portfolio. Obviously, we are far away from that, but we will continue to work towards that. And if you guys want to follow along, hit that subscribe button. But now let's hop right into the video. So, T. Rowe Price was founded in 1937. It is Baltimore-based. Baltimore they are a global investment manage management organization with over $1.5 trillion in assets. The organization provides a broad array of mutual funds, sub-advisory services, and separate account management for individual and institutional investors, retirement plans, and financial in intermediaries. The company also offers sophisticated investment planning on guidance tools, T. Rowe Price Discipline Risk Aware Investment Approach focused on diversification, style, consistency, and fundamental research. So T. Rowe Price, as you can tell, they have been around for a while. They are a huge investment fund. It looks like they're trading at a pretty decent discount right now. So if we hop over to Seeking Alpha, you can tell that they are down 10% in the past year, which now they are trading at $146.58. In the past six months, they are down a whopping 30, almost 33%, which is just crazy. We're going to hop over right to their dividends and see exactly what they are paying out. So they do have a 3.33% yield at this current rate. They have an annual payout of $4.80 per share with a small payout ratio of 33.86%. They have a five-year dividend growth rate of 14.87% and dividend growth for the past 35 years. They do pay a quarterly frequency dividend of $1.20. So not too bad. They, the yield is pretty average. Pretty, It's above market value. And they've but what we're looking here is a five-year growth rate, five-year growth rate of 15, almost 15%, which is awesome. Dividend growth for 35 years, making them a dividend aristocrat. And they have a small payout ratio, so there's plenty of room for this dividend to grow as they grow as a company. Now let's hop right into the financials and look at more of the numbers in this company. So exactly what we are looking at here, we're going to be looking at revenue, we're going to be looking at shares at standing, and just different numbers as we dive in. So revenue in December of 2017 was $4.8 billion, and in December of 2021, it was $7.6 billion. So we see pretty consistent growth there, and very, very nice growth. Now let's take a look at their balance sheet. Because the only thing we're looking at on this page for this quick analysis of this company is outstanding shares. Obviously, when you are investing in a company, you need to dive further in and really take pull apart every single aspect of these numbers. But for keeping this video short and all the videos short, we only look at outstanding shares on this page. Obviously, when you need when you do a full analysis on a stock, you need to dive deeper in. So, shares outstanding, we want to see them decreasing, right? We always say that decreasing shares outstanding. In 2017, they had 244 million shares outstanding. And now in 2021, 229 million shares outstanding. So, it is decreasing, decreasing at a small amount, but very good there. I am very happy with that as well. So, right now, that's two check marks for... T. Rowe Price Group. Now let's hop into the rest of their numbers and see if they can wow us some more. 
So they have a market cap of $33 billion with a P-E ratio of very small, 10.99. That's exactly what we look for. Beautiful there. Price to cash flow of 9.57. They do have revenue of $7.8 billion with revenue growth of a whopping 23.61%, which is pretty outstanding for a company of this this age and this size, right? So 24% of revenue growth, pretty good there. They have net income of $3.08 billion, with total cash on hand of $1.52 billion. They have zero debt, which is another great check mark there. They have $1.89 billion in free cash flow, perfect for that dividend. And they could definitely keep raising these dividends as they keep going, right? So they're really looking here to be looking to, to go for a dividend king, right? Obviously, they need 15 more years to reach that dividend king status. But it looks like they are trying to get there. And I think they definitely have room in their free cash flow as long as the business keeps growing to definitely get that done. So t Price Group is definitely on my watch list. And let's take a look at... Valuation in terms of their industry. Now remember, like I said, you need to go to their website. You need to go to their investor relations page. You need to look at their presentations. You need to look at their 8K filings. You need to look at a lot of different stuff before investing in a company. This is just a basic overview of the company that I do. This is what I start with. Making these videos is how I start finding stocks and start the analysis of these stocks right so they have a c plus which is a sector relative grade not too great there not too bad c growth sector revenue growth year over year they have a b minus not too bad there as well so t row price group what am I going to do? I am going to dive deeper into this company. I am going to probably, looking at the basics, they are definitely, definitely on my watch list. And if I could get them at a cheaper price, that would really be great. But they have dropped, like I said, almost 33% in the past six months. So there could be some room to drop still, but it's looking like it's at a pretty decent price for me to get in at now like i said you need to do your own investment you need to do your own studying of these stocks and you need to invest your money how you would like to invest your money i am not a financial advisor i'm not your financial advisor but t Row price group is definitely on my watch list let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this company also please make sure you like that like button if you did enjoy the video and got anything out of it, also subscribe to the channel so you can follow my journey of reaching $100,000 on my dividend portfolio. We post dividend portfolio updates every single month here. So make sure you are subscribed. I appreciate you all for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.